The opening ceremony of the Olympics actually is giving us a deeper picture into Christianity more so than it does the world. And this is what I mean. Do you see this photo right here? You remember, maybe some of you even watched the opening ceremony of the Olympics. Do you know what scripture this is against? As a Christian, do you, can you name the scripture that's, that this is against? And so what I did is I actually issued a challenge on Facebook and I said, what Christian here can name me a scripture? Uh, can, they, can you name a scripture that this is against? And not one of them could name it. This is just one of the comments that I had uh, from uh, a brother. And all he could say was two words, and you're seeing it right now. It's wrong. And then I replied, yes, scripture though. Can you name a scripture stating that this lifestyle is wrong? Can you name a scripture stating? And that's where we've come. It wasn't about the opening ceremony. It's all about what are God's people going to respond with. And if all you can respond with is it's wrong, oh, it's blasphemous, oh, it's disrespectful, oh, it's dishonorable. Listen, you're dealing with mankind that is not saved. Remember, we are in the fall and the majority, I would say, mankind. The majority of mankind is not saved. They do not know the love of Christ. They don't know it yet. Okay. And they don't, they don't even listen to their parents when their parents <laughs> tell them that it's wrong. So what in the world type of authority do you have saying that this is wrong and you aren't mentioning any authority? Christian, you have no authority except the word of the living God. That is what is going to get rid of blasphemy. That is what is going to get rid of the tyranny that's in our governments. That is what is going to get rid of the sin out of hearts and out of lives. That is what is going to cause people, even these people, to cry out to the Lord God to be saved. You know what Jesus said, don't you? He said, if Sodom and Gomorrah had seen the works of God, if they had seen the miracles and the power of God, They'd have repented in sackcloth and ashes. So this is more of a reflection of the church than it is mankind. So as you look at this, I want you to ask yourself a question. Why are these people still doing this? And my pastor has thousands of people in the congregation. Why are these people still doing this? And we go out so winning and knocking on doors and lots of people show up at our church. Why is this still going on? Could it be because you are not doing the gospel correctly? You are not placing Jesus as a Lord in your community. Could it be? This is just, I'm asking a question. I'm asking a question. God is powerful because he saved you, didn't he? So why is this still happening? For as long as you've prayed, mm, 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 as many people as you talk to, as many times you have sacrificed your life, why? Why is this going on at such a high level? in our society. Maybe it's because the size of your church does not equal the size of your influence. God bless you. God loves you. God smiles when he sees you.